Hey guys, um, I just wanted to show you my quick everyday makeup routine. It's really simple and really quick. So I'm just starting off with a fresh face hair, no makeup on. So um, yeah, let's get started. Get all of your makeup supplies together. So I just have my makeup bag here and some stuff. And you're definitely going to need makeup remover wipes, you know, just in case you make a mistake at all or anything. Okay, so I just put my hair up so it wouldn't get in the way of me doing any makeup or anything. So yeah, let's just get started now. Yeah. Okay, I always start off yeah. first with my Makeup Forever HD Primer. This is going to help um, make the foundation stay on all day. It's also going to help even out your skin tone a little bit. So I just put a little bit on the back of the, my hand. And then you just kind of dot it on your entire face. And then you can just rub it in using your fingers. I like to cover my eyelids with it too. To make sure it's fully covered. Okay, next I'm going to take my Makeup Forever HD foundation in the shade color of your skin tone. And I just put about two pumps of the foundation on the back of my hand. And then I'm going to begin to dot it all over my entire face, especially under my eye area. So it can look like we got a full night's sleep, even if we didn't. Over the eyelids too. Then you want to make sure your chin and your neck kind of blend it in too. And then you can just take your foundation brush and start blending the foundation into your skin always in an upward motion so this way we don't cause any wrinkles in our skin so once you finish applying all of your foundation you're just going to take your concealer, mine's kind of used up but it is um, a CoverGirl twist up concealer and you can just apply that in triangular sections under your eye kind of going up to your eyelid just like this and then you can put it on any extra blemishes and you can put one line down the center of your nose and one over each eyebrow next you're just going to take your ring finger and start lightly um, dabbing the concealer into your skin. You take the ring finger because it's the gentlest of all the fingers. You want to make sure to cover any of your under eye circles or anything that you may have. And once again, always in an upward motion, never in a downward motion because that can cause wrinkles on the skin. Oh my god, guys, I just, like, had a change. I'm so sorry. It's just that big scarf was not working for me. Like, it's it's cold outside a little bit, so I have my little Aeropostale sweat around here. But it was way too hot for that big, like, fluffy scarf all around my neck. Okay, so next you're just going to take one of your favorite bronzers. I think mine's by Maybelline. It's a Fit Me one in the medium bronze. And you're just going to take your foundation brush and get a little bit of color on there. You don't want too much though. And then you're just going to make like a fishy face almost. And just put it in that crease right there. This way um, it defines your face shape a lot better. So it looks like you have a more thinned out, mature looking face. Then you can get a little bit more on there and just do kind of near the temples of your head like the corners up here then I just like to take a little brush I think this is actually an eyeshadow brush and I just like to get some bronzer on there and put bronzer on the sides of my nose this way it makes your nose appear a little bit thinner and like you have that perfect kind of nose shape even if you don't Next, you're going to want to take your favorite blush. I think mine's just a CoverGirl color. You can't really see it there. 
it's um in the shade rose it's a very nice like light pink but it's more than noticeable just get some blush onto your brush this side then you're just gonna smile and you're gonna find the apples of your cheeks and apply the brush in an upwards and outwards motion Now um, for this makeup look, I'm not going to be applying any eyeshadow, so next I'm just going to take my eyeliner. This is a pencil eyeliner by L'Oreal. It glides on very smoothly, and I'm just going to take that and apply it to my bottom waterline. Okay, sorry about that guys, I just had to um, go in my actual mirror to apply the eyeliner because I can't look in the little viewfinder thing and apply eyeliner to my bottom, bottom, oops, bottom waterline. It just doesn't work for me, so yeah, I think most of you know how to apply eyeliner to your bottom waterline anyways. Next, you can just take your eyelash curler and you can just curl your eyelashes slightly just to give them a little bit of an upwards motion so they're not like sticking straight out but they're sticking upwards instead you just want to be gentle not to pull any of your eyelashes out of course so yeah then once you have your eyelashes all nice and curled you can start with mascara um, I like to use a lot of mascara so that's up to you guys how much you use but I'm gonna be starting off with my Maybelline mascara which I think most girls have it's a really good mascara it lengthens your lashes really well so I'm just going to take this mascara and I'm gonna apply it to both my top and my bottom lash lines then you're just gonna apply the mascara the same way to your other eye of course so they um, match and look equal so yeah I'm sorry if it like looks a little weird I'm having trouble looking in my viewfinder rather than a mirror with doing makeup and yeah um, that's my dog barking like in the middle of me recording this so I like to use more than one mascara as I said so next I'm going to take my Revlon mascara and I'm just going to reapply this mascara to both my top and bottom lash lines just like we did with the Maybelline mascara. I think it gives the illusion of having fuller, longer lashes, which I like. So, yeah, it works great. And now, of course, to the other eye. So, guys, I just got mascara on my finger. I got mascara filming a video about makeup on my finger. But you know what? That's okay. Okay, so finally my last mascara, guys. It's on the Maybelline Falsies Mascara. I don't know if you can see it too well. And I just use the side for the upper lashes, actually. And I just apply it to my top lash line because this mascara is very good for lengthening your lashes like they look really dramatically long afterwards so it's a really good mascara okay guys so um the last part which is normally the best part the lip color um this is just a nice lip color it's by Ramel London and it's in the shade 102 and this has been my favorite lip color like ever since school has started or fall because it's like this very nice it's like a dark pink but it's a very like folly color to me so you're just gonna take that and apply it to your top and your bottom lip and then you can just take a clear shiny lip gloss mine is by LA colors it's 
just a very local cheap lip gloss like you can pick it up anywhere and I just like to apply it to the center of my bottom lip and the center of my top lip then you kind of go like that and you have some nice shiny lips okay guys so um yeah that's it for your makeup look today it's just very simple and very quick you can like wear it to school or out to wherever you're going and there's something really weird like smelling in my room so I'm just gonna like spray some of this and now it smells so good bye